shitless today. Yeah, so I'm uh, playing my Requiem Mass in advance. I have offended the Godfathers and the Mafias in Glasgow. in Glasgow. asks <laughs> yeah the code word for this episode yeah that's the word episode is podja <laughs> or georgie porgy <laughs> or <laughs> oh no it's stuff about the uh, Rockefellers yet yeah, blown up the Twin Towers and all that being the demonization of Islam is really really secure ground everybody understands that including Field McConnell and the able danger know nothings yeah but what I've tre trodden upon this morning <laughs> is the pudger word in Naples <laughs> yeah, and it is really terrifying Okay, how did I get there? Uh, let me show you how I got there. <laughs> but let's finish off yet yeah, what I expect to happen really, really soon. Remember he died on the grassy knoll? I'm going to explain that too. <laughs> and Jim Fetzer will at long last be able to solve all of those crimes which were committed in 1963. <laughs> and that's the Twin Towers stuff and that is the man, <laughs> the man that is in the Jack the Ripper movie. Yeah, and that's the Rothschilds taking over all the narcotics wealth once Prince Phil is too old to do that in league with the uh, people that we talked about who are Onassis yeah, and the triumvirate that includes Winston Churchill, the Queen's dad <laughs> OK, so today I'm scared shitless because I've gotten onto the big, big crimes of world history Right then, so we need another tab for that, and it's called Sax Coburg. <laughs> okay, so when I got down below this and I got onto the crimes of the global mafias again, I discovered that there's a place in Belgium and it has scared me shitless. Yeah, it's where they commit human sacrifices. It's really, really terrifying. 
and the podger word is right at the heart of it as usual so Saxe Coburg's okay the top tab is Prince Philip the second tab is Lita which is the currency in Lithuania which is where the hearts football frauds occurred involving the Romanov Rothschilds the next one <laughs> is Mother of Darkness let me go to that one first <laughs> okay so uh, you can hear that I'm stammering a bit like the king in that movie that won the Oscar because this is really 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 sinister okay there is the castle that we're referring to okay it's the, the chateau des Amerois <laughs> yeah and this is a guy from outer space and when you go to the real website for that he dances around like a spaceman that's why he's like a lizard and that's the David Bowie Moravingian jokes yeah, that mean that the people that live in that fucking castle can terrify the whole world by telling stories about the spacemen coming down to steal our world yeah and that's Andy Murray <laughs> the Moravingians yeah it's massive and this is where they massacre all the little children like Jesus <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so it's the mother of darkness video okay I put this thread together with the best info I could find on the MK Ultra mind control uh, and satanic ritual abuse yeah this is the stuff that keeps all of law enforcement busy yeah with the paedophilia crimes yeah none of the people turn on the government that commit the great genocides yeah, and all of this becomes everybody's major concern. So this is what the man <laughs> Fritz Springmeier writes about in his disclosures after he's been banged up by Interpol, which operates out the Belgian region. <laughs> okay? It is a massive set of cabal tools to keep the whole world in fear since the Damien movie was made and it takes us right into the cemeteries in Naples where the Bible was made and faked up yeah all of the stories are the same ones and this time I'm gonna tell you the role of the fish that is the penis that is the podger for Rabsi Nisbet and Glesky <laughs> right then where do we start let's start with okay with the stories about the ritual sacrifices of the little children I'm gonna try and make it full screen and I'll play you eh, some more of that sinister sinister music as I make it full screen are you ready so Sorry, I must stop giggling. Quid Smith and Wesson did that. Do you know why? See this man? This is Clementini. Alistair Clementini. Oh, Clementini the baker? The same. The most successful mutton pie retailer in all peace. <laughs> Look. Flour under one set of fingernails. Cocaine under the other. <laughs> I'll say, sir. He had it all. 
Adele, acid to the kids, coke to the parents, and mutton pies to the grandparents. A score for all the family. Ah, he was a McDonald's of vice. He was just like any other kid, he got greedy. Is that why he was talked, sir? You ask me, he was trying to dip his tadger in the gum and buy business. <laughs> Aye. Especially when you're up against the Lord of the Highs. Fine, <laughs> man. Don't you just thrill from your toes to the end of your finger when you see a motor like that? <laughs> He's his up and coming young businessman, something to aspire to. Excuse me, madam. We're doing some market research. You thought about your Christmas shop last year? Aye, aye, we're taking orders. <laughs> Get away! Scum! <laughs> I don't see that. I think we should ban Buckfast. What, ban Buckfast? Oh, no, I mean, what would the wine shop to wash in their crack next to see we have? <laughs> That's what I'd expect for you now. So, did you hear that man, Nisbet, talking about the world's biggest secret? Yeah. Luckily, I have not got one, <laughs> but, but uh, <laughs> it is terribly shocking what I've learned. <laughs> okay, so that's the pie pie piezo pipe joke. Yeah, and it's penetrated Mary Doll's vagina in uh, Glasgow. <laughs> yeah, and that's Mary Hen in the chicken and egg uh, and... <laughs> St. Peter crowing jokes, yeah, all are the same ones, okay? <laughs> and the Mozart's Requiem is full of jokes about world leaders like Obama and all of the things that I've told you about the MP for Blackpool and the people that live in Germany and work for the Aitkins. Okay, so this is the demonization of the spacemen, yeah? And that is what happens in Lower Belgium, well below the Waterloo joke scene. Yeah, and I've got all the links now of the lovely Hanny Mar Hannah Mary Rothschild, that's Mary the Virgin in the middle, yeah, to all of the uh, jokes about religion out in Naples. It's interlocked with them now in Mentmore and uh, Wendover and all of the places where they have their massive castles and I've written expressing my love for that virginal woman <laughs> at Wadston again this morning ok so let's get on with the sinister tales that scare you shitless if you believe any of it ok this is Prince Philip that's the Prince Philip stories Let's go there first and get it out of the way. <laughs> okay. So, we've talked about Philip of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha and the links. There's the Kaiser Bill lookalike that I saw at the races on the weekend. And he's with his plain looking woman, who's a Louise. Yeah, and she's in the French connection to... Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, she's in the French connection to Versailles, I believe. Okay, <laughs> let's quickly get the gist of that one because the story gets more frightening as you get to the tabs on the Podja. <laughs> and the Podja is the female, uh, sorry, the male sexual apparatus, and the pie joke in the mafias in Glasgow and in Naples and in Rome and all over the world now, yeah, is the massive vagina of Lynn Forrester de Rothschild, which I made in the episodes yesterday. <laughs> okay, there's Philip and Louise, born in Paris, and he is St. Augustine Coburg, and he's the dad of the lovely eh, Prince Albert. <laughs> okay, and there's Dorothea in the Yellow Brick Road joke, Duchess of Schleswig Holstein. Do you <laughs> oh, there getting ever so nervous too. These are the royal families, by the way. All the great conflicts. 
and that's Princess Louise of Belgium. Yeah, the democratic icon for the European Union. <laughs> yeah, but when you play their uh, national anthem, it is boasting about the might and the power of the law and the monarchy. Okay, they're strictly neutral in wartime, which is why uh, Hitler was able to penetrate them, have a few drinks in Paris on the way through, and enjoy the luscious women in the silk stockings, and then all of a sudden they're at Dunkirk, and all that protects Britain is Dad's army, and all of their characters are jokes in world history. <laughs> yeah, not at all frightening totally humorous for the greatest genocides that ever occurred on our globe <laughs> okay so that's the house of Saxe Coburg and Gotha which you might have heard of before Prince Auguste of Saxe Coburg and Gotha Princess Clementine of Orleans New Orleans the house of the fucking rising sun god oh my darling Clementine was Churchill's favourite song. The religion is Roman Catholic. Out of the region of the Netherlands where all of the Protestantism and the Orange Movement was started to launch all of the massive Thirty Years' War involving the murderous and genocidal Swedes. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? The Windsor Greek came in <laughs> in an orange box. That's Prince Philip and the stories about him becoming the person who has wrecked the whole of the European homeland. Yeah, in the name of fascism and wealth divide. And he's done a magnificent job. <laughs> OK, so... Prince Ferdinand Philip Maria Auguste Raphael of Saxe Coburg, that's the Jewish angel by the way, and it's the RAF for Prince Philip, and uh, was born 1844 in Paris uh, and died in Coburg, yeah, and he was the second prince of Saxe Coburg and Gotha and the lord of Sabrag and Zvitna, yeah, and those are in Czechoslovakia. That is the Bohemian Rhapsody joke, and all of it is going to be exposed today. Okay. This man was born in the Tuiri Palace. Yeah, that's Versailles. <laughs> As Ferdinand Philip Maria Auguste Raphael of Saxe Coburg and Gotha in German Green, and he was the eldest son of Auguste of Saxe Coburg and Gotha and Clementine of New Orleans. His mother was a daughter of Louis Philippe of France. He was a member of the Catholic Cohari line of the House of Wetin Yerpantes. <laughs> yeah, and the stories about the uh, rust on your pants is really quite tragic because that is the cavalier rusticana joke and it takes us right into Naples and right underneath Vesuvius where they put the prisoners in the jail <laughs> ok Ferdinand Saar of Bulgaria do you get the links now to austro Hungaria, the spark point for the Islamic menace and wait till you see the pictures of the relatives of these people with the big yeah, with the big austro Hungarian moustaches under their noses. OK, right into Constantinople and the mosque that they now have in the East Enders episodes. OK, he became a major in the Hungarian army, that is the Hussars in the English army's joke, and his brother-in-law was pra Crown Prince Rudolf the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah, and that's pictures below of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Christmas joke, which is the X-Mass joke for the non-existent Jesus. Yeah, do you get the picture? <laughs> OK, uh, and there we go down to Rudolph, which means Rothschild Red, by the way. 
uh, and the Springmeyer joke is that Count Joseph Hoyes Springsenstein and valet John Losek discovered the bodies of Rudolf and his underage sweetheart Baroness Mary the Virgin Vetsera. Okay, so do you get the covers? These are the launches of all of the wars. There is the launch of the Elf Oil Company and the son of the Godfather who was gunned down <laughs> playing the Elf from uh, from the North Pole who comes down to help with the preparation of the Christmas presents and is lethal with snowballs. Yeah, and that becomes the Elf Company which employs Justin Welby who is the current uh, the current uh, the head of the Church of England with the exception of Her Majesty the Queen who is Bill Clinton's brother, sister uh, and is Winston Churchill's daughter along with Princess Margaret and Bill Clinton is sired by his semen sample in the British American Tobacco Batman jokes ok so can you see why I'm scared shitless this team is lethal enough to put a man called Springmeyer in jail to try and cover up everything that happened yeah, in the lead up to World War I and that is one year after the massive massacres in Khartoum and that is <laughs> featuring uh, my greatest religious hero in life Charlton Heston from the gun lobby in America ok, Philip spent his last years at Burglar Castle <laughs> that's a new one for me yeah, Rabsy Nisbet would laugh at that one ok, in Coburg yeah, that's where the current Windsor dynasty came from he died in 1921, aged 77 and was buried in Czechoslovakian crypts for reputational reasons he was a knight in the order of the golden fleecing of the whole world by Prince Phil and his illegitimate bloodline for 160 years almost and a recipient of the Portuguese order of the tower and the sword <laughs> yeah the scary bits are yet to come in Brussels on February the 4th Philip married Louise Princess of Belgium his second cousin daughter of Leopold King of the Belgians and granddaughter of Leopold King of the Belgians brother of Philip's grandfather Ferdinand ok the marriage of Philip and Louise proved disastrous and she left her husband in 1896 in 1898 she lost parental power over her children and on 15th January 1906 the divorce was pronounced in Gotha the reason for the separation was a long-standing relationship with Count Geza of Matacic yeah the, <laughs> yeah, the chicken jokes all through the Pizzo family Bible fraud jokes Keglevich yeah who lived to 1923 with whom Philip had duelled on the orders of Emperor Franz Joseph you might have heard of him he was executed in the lead up to World War I uh, on the Hume Bridge for the Scottish philosophers to have a laugh at it like Rab C. Nisbet in everything that they do I met the man he's a Scottish borderer and it's tragic that none of them will stand up and declare that Scotland could be free of all of this and the English tyrants are actually German tyrants all through the story <laughs> Louise had had other affairs before she met Gaza, oh no, Geza, among others with Philip's adjutant. They had two children. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go. Oh no, his coin. <laughs> so, this is the story I've already told you about the Rothschilds taking over the whole world out of the ghettos in Frankfurt. Prince Philip had an important collection of coins from Saxony, the Eastern Overseas. He published about Oriental coin collections called Numismatics. His coin collection was auctioned in 1928 by the auction house Leo Hamburger. Yeah, that's the sausage joke, which you'll learn more about really later on. And it is the podger. In Frankfurt. Okay, so the Belgian Coin Collection Society. This is what the Rothschilds 
uh, sucked up into yeah and they then began to get donations from all of the European monarchs and they declared that they had made a tiny little bit of money from them and they gave them that tiny little bit of money back they kept the rest for themselves and that's called numismatics <laughs> now it's called grand larceny but nobody has the courage to confront them except me right then so the Belgians have a coin collection system too do you get that okay so that's tab number one tab number two is the Lita joke okay that's the joke about hearts uh, and elsewhere on these tabs let me just show you that now because I noticed it earlier on have you heard of great Hungarian football players called Puskas that's Pur Pur Puskas <laughs> ok uh, and what was I going to show you uh, I was going to show you uh, Okay, so just to confirm that we get back into the Bible fraud, there are quarters of Naples, and there is the Poggio word, yeah, and the part of Naples that is the Poggio word is right underneath fucking Vesuvius, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is the white flag colour for Bill Clinton and the white boards who are the master race that run all these frauds out of the Vatican and the White House and all of the buildings in the fraud are exactly the same shape ok right underneath Vesuvius ok and the pudger is the cock yeah between your legs which is the third leg for Rolf Harris which is the hellish Aryan joke right then but that was not what I wanted to show you uh, I wanted to show you something else <laughs> but I can't remember what it was let's click on all those Sousa Google Maps ok so there's Sousa Italy Sousa is a city yeah, in Piedmont with the word pie at the beginning which you heard <laughs> Rab C. Nisbet giggling at and you know now what that means ok uh, and that is uh, at the foot of the mountains uh, and that is in Piedmont, Italy in the middle of the Sousa Valley ok so the places that I've discovered that were so frightening for me are the places where uh, a new bloodline lived in Italy and I'm going to show you that there's nothing left on the history of that bloodline but let's go back to this place in Eastern Europe yeah and this is uh, the story about the Hungarian connection yeah and all of that has been there are people in my hometown from Hungary there are people from my ho in my hometown from Romania and all of those vampire regions ok the home for the Saxe Coburgs turns out to be a ruin yeah this is before they bought that castle in Belgium to scare the shit out of the simple people <laughs> in the woods then it is the Lita yeah that's the Lita river which runs through that region and that is the currency for Lithuania where the genocide occurred yeah to get the Russian steppes and the oil wealth for the Balfours and Churchill who was in charge of the great genocides in that region and all of the Gallipoli massacres ok so Lithuania is now run as a central banking fraud by the Tsar Romanov Rothschild of Hearts and that is the Gorgi police where I've reported all of that and all of the massive interlocks with those people yeah in Russia still with Hannah Mary Rothschild and with all of the Rothschild Trust which interlocks with Hannah Mary Rothschild through Parland, Auckland 
which is New Zealand and that is all the jokes about the Jewish religion and the Chinook helicopters are the same jokes as the Hakka joke <laughs> yeah that's the All Blacks terrifying rugby team and the whole of the trivialization of the ownership of the whole of the empire upon which the sun will never set while the poor people are pig ignorant of the piezo jokes okay <laughs> right then so so that's the Romanov Rothschild hearts Lithuanian fraud and that is the asset stripping of the whole of that country several times over several genocides and all of them are supported entirely by the papacy which come into the tabs further down when we get to the podger word <laughs> okay it looks as if the Melvin Bragg Leeds Moser syndicate are out of the Blue Danube region and that is Melvin Bragg his name comes into the geographical stories yeah and he is now one of Scotland's uh, Britain's leadest, leading traitors he's the Chancellor at Leeds University I write to his secretary all of the time I never get a reply he's the one that preaches Christianity and the fact that people get massacred yeah in other people's countries when they refuse to accept the Christian fraud <laughs> okay the syndicate are out of that Danube region which is the World War I yeah, Austro-Hungarian crime scene where they were prepared to accept all but one of the terms for a peaceful treaty and that one term was that they refused to allow the policing of that country to be done by citizens of another country that's why we had World War I and the killing of 80 million people out of the lovely Blue Danube music and that is the waltz of death for the w w w Windsor family the Saxe Coburgs okay? which explains why his audience is out of Belsenbergen through Normandy and into Norway with no opposition. That's the same story as Dunkirk, but further north. Yet every one of those fascist countries is in league with every other one of them, and only the poor people get killed. Okay, so I could show you more of what's left of that castle in uh, Hungary. It's uh, just a ruin in the woods. Okay? artist rendition in 1906 and this is Kupina you might remember that from the Balkans conflict when the man who was trying to defend his own country in the Balkans was uh, executed for trying to do that ok this is the Dares of Hunt Poznan who are noted as being in the area from the period when Radbo was doing the dirty even in Switzerland which is strictly neutral for cowardice reasons okay they later moved into the more comfortable manor house in Zvati Anton and had the castle burned in 1812 just as the Rothschilds were about to achieve their greatest triumph at Waterloo the castle has been decaying ever since okay and here's the Brandeis covers for the man who became the Jew on the Supreme Court of America and demonized the whole of World War I to be extended by two years. Jan Jiskra of Brandeis, who was march marching with his Hussite forces. Yet, yeah, do you get the Hussars in the British Army? Yeah, and the charge of the Life Brigade in the British Army against Eastern European commies from Russia. Yeah, with the hay, the, with the help of the treasonous French right behind them. In 1585, fears of Ottoman advances out of the piso launched Ottoman Empire, which is Otto, the emperor in Rome. Yeah, and Otto Piso and all of the 
interrelationships and all of the bastard children that keep this bloodline so powerful and lethal through all of world history. Okay? So the Ottoman advances were rising in the country and vast fortification works were initiated led by the Italian fortress architect Mr. Ferrari of the Formula One sect. This is just the ruined castle but it is in the wood. Cabrad Castle. Have you heard of the term in the magic word for cold play? <laughs> Abra, Cadabra and that's the joke for Tommy Cooper with the red fucking warmongering fez on his head which is why he died really young David Cameron, watch your step yeah, do you get it? Abra, Cadabra dead in the woods yeah, and that's Jesus and the whole thing is really, really evil Ferenc, Joseph Kohari, yeah, this is Ferenc Puskas, the pussycat joke for the Rothschilds, yeah, the Pernius joke for the Rothschilds, it's all the same lethal, lethal story. Have you ever thought, and I believe that Puskas led Hungary to massive victories at Hamden Park, for the Glasgow Mafias to admire. Okay, Ferenc Puskas. Ferenc Joseph, yet the launch of the new scam, Kohari de Kasberg, put the castle to blaze in 1812, just as the Rothschilds were planning the racing pigeons out of Waterloo to steal the Bank of England and to launch the Pino Huch monument in my region, which is the cock between the legs and all of it is the same joke. Since then it has remained the ruin it is today, slowly being reclaimed by the surrounding forests. Same story in the place where they blew up the power station so that Prince Philip could continue to asset strip the whole of the European energy supplies with the help of the German man who was ch the Chancellor Schmidt yeah, in Germany and all of that is the Gazprom scam that ends up with the asset stripping of the Lithuanian genocide scene and its central bank <laughs> by Tsar Romanov Rothschilds of Hearts. Okay, what I'm looking for on those other tabs is the fact that the man Petrie is also it's a part P.I. Petrie is the director at Hibs it's massive it's all the same Piso family jokes and it's right into Hannah Rothschild's bloodline yeah, which is why I'm intent on giving her a conscience until they relent and start working with the rest of the world to make it a peaceful and civilised place ok so that is the same pew pew Barney McGrew Puskas jokes yeah, as in that song about going to hell written by Gluck that my neighbours so admired when I played it the other day and it's the only opera, opera I ever took Miss Valerie Jane Lees to see and there's only one memorable song in it and it is the memorable song about the pussy pussy pisos in Naples and all of it is the blight of the world, okay? And Puskas, when you see his picture further down, has a, a massive parting of the hair up the middle of his head, which is like the parting of the waters as they cross the Jordan in the Bible story. Okay, let's have a look. You might recognise him if you're old and crusty like me. There he is. Lovely parting of the waters. Okay, all of that is a cover for the massive uh, religious joke that is Christianity. One gets blinded if you search for Hungarian pussy. Yeah, that is the pole dancing joke that we tell you later on. Uh, and when you look for Hungarian pussy, you get pole dancers with no clothes on, or occasionally wild cats, like that. Yeah, the one that I've just pointed the camera at. 
Yeah, that's Ferenc Puskas, the religious joke, and all of the horsey jokes through all of world history. This one's got three, four horses leading a fifth horse, and that's the five arrows for the Rothschilds. There's a Hungarian stamp. Guess what's on it? Yeah? And I don't know what the currency was. Yeah? It's now the Lita in Hungary, which has been abolished. Because the whole place has been conglomerated, like the Gazprom scam. Right then, let's get on to some more of the sinister stories that scared me so much. Okay, this is the story about the Belgians hosting the lethal meetings in that castle. Okay, that's the Mother of Darkness story told by Fritz Springmeier, who's been jailed in the cover-ups, that this is just a cover-up for the massive financial frauds of the European Central Bank, led by the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the spacemen, who are going to take over, and David Bowie is going to save us from them. Right then, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> yeah, they're prepared to kill anyone that moves into the line of fire of this. That's the village of Muno, and the chateau is down there, way below Waterloo, where the triumph for the Rothschilds occurred. The hole in the Maginot line is carefully protected there and that is Brie in the jokes about the uh, Lord of the Rings and the ordinary little people like me saving the world if they're prepared to fight all of them smoke the pie pie piezo pipe and the apples come out of the fields next to them it's all the same fucking joke okay and do you get that? That's the Springmire murders. <laughs> Way back when we were in Khartoum. Yeah, and that is the rivers of blood. All of the way from Cairo. That's Cairo in Egypt. Right down to Khartoum. Yeah, and that is the African Queen joke. Which is the Queen Victoria's reign joke. And that is the Germans too. And her husband was Prince Albert. And he was murdered by the family that later became the Windsors that were the Saxe Coburgs. Do you get how scary it is? <laughs> okay, so that's the Chateau de Ardennes or whatever it is. Yeah, Ardennes is actually the tragic crime scene for the massive genocides that all of us celebrate with the Queen on Remembrance Sunday, Jim Fetzer. And that's the bouillon thing, which is the bouillon joke in Belgium. Yeah? In the heartland of what should be democracy, but is still a joke in their anthem about the law being corrupted and the monarchy being the big bosses and the lethal people that commit all of the great genocides. That's right on the button, which is why I'm scared shitless. Yeah, it's really, really, yeah. yeah, and the Nutcracker Ballet is really <laughs> quite spooky for someone who's prepared to expose this. <laughs> this castle, according to Springmeyer, yeah, that's the Bruce Springsteen mafias in America, the castle is referred to as the Mothers of Darkness Castle, and monarch programming is supposedly performed on children there, Prince Charles. Yeah, you remember how you got shagged as a prima nocti right by your father-in-law, by your uh, the man that is supposed to be your dad, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it's really quite sinister, okay? Uh, and this castle is known as the Castle of Kings. Its real name is Chateau de Amerwa, and it's located in Bullion, <laughs> Belgium near the village of Muno, yeah? Yeah, that's people with their pants down and their arse is a Muni, yeah? All of it is to scare everybody shitless, 
Yeah, and everybody can then get away with all the grand larceny against the people of the world. Field McConnell, yet the know-nothings all around the world that pretend to be the freedom fighters, Jim Fetzer, Prince Philip of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha, Count of Flanders Field, and father of King Albert I. Do you get the picture now? All of them are replayed genocides and all of the characters stay the same. Right through all of the relationships with the Rothschild moneylenders that Jesus warned us about Hannah with all of the artefacts in Wadsden Manor. It is a total sin against the world and against the civilization concept. Okay, he purchased the property in 1865 to, yeah, that's a bad sentence, none of them ever get sentenced. He purchased the property in 1869 from the Marquis van der Noot, which means note, de ash, which means donkey, e -aw, and the Church of England. They no longer exist. It's their joke that has scared me witless. <laughs> it has 365 windows. This castle was later, <laughs> that's the windows of the world, which is the uh, company that is in the joke about the it, Irish people that pretend that Greg Hallett is still alive. Yeah, and that is the company that is run, the windows of the world, in the World Trade Center that was brought down by the British Royals. Yeah, that's the other prince, yeah, who's married to Fergie, who has our company in that building. Okay, the paedophile murder ring which came to light in Belgium in 1996. Do you remember all of those stories? All of the massive lewd jokes about people having orgies and sex with one woman. Yeah. <laughs> it is all the cover for the asset stripping of the whole of Europe, the whole of Asia and every continent on our globe. Part of the satanic networking. <laughs> yeah, it is easy, easy, easy to steal from and deceive the whole of the nine billion populace of the world. And there's the stories about Malcolm Rifkind being involved, okay? The castle of... Let me read you that sentence that leads up to that. It was organised by Marc Dutroux, who is connected to the satanic order of Abraxa, the company that Malcolm Rifkind interlocks with John Anthony Chilcott, the war crimes chair inquest person. Do you get that, Gordon Bowden? and Peter Eyre and all of those magnificent freedom fighters that are prepared to desert their country and take the bung from the profiteers that run it. Based in the village of Forchies at La Marche near Charleroi, which is King Charles, the Spaniel, <laughs> in southern Belgium, not and all of the world leaders and all of my brother-in-laws and my wife's disloyal families from Chipping Norton that use that dog as their icon. And that is God. Yet it cannot get more evil. And the Iraq inquest has never been published and no one in the crime scene, Hannah Rothschild, yet cuddling the babies and all of your interlocks with Lothian 50 all through the corrupted city of Edinburgh, no one is brought to account. Yeah. And all of it is covered up by ancient myths and the relaunch of Joseph multiple times. And there is Lilith out of the cast. Yeah. So, <laughs> the main reptilian menace from outer space were given names like Lilith in the cast of the Boston pub. Yeah. The Cheers bar. Yeah. She's the psychiatrist. And it's all the same fucking jokes. 
Yeah, it's totally decrepit, totally incapable of being sustained only by the twits that are now coerced to be the politicians. Yeah, and that is the role of women in life and in psychiatry, to play the dumbass person that is in the cast of the world's greatest comedies, which are the world's greatest genocides. Okay, so Eve was the first woman created from Adam's rib. Yeah, all of it is written by the same fraudulent families. And let's get on with the story of the Pudja. Do you get it? If anybody wants a PDF, yeah, I want you to tell me why on Skypey, and I want to tell you, I want you to declare why you're working with Skypey, yeah, if you've been there for a long time. That is the Intel run by Her Majesty the Queen, yeah, in Windsor and in Buckingham Palace, and that is the German Sax Coburgs who murdered Prince Albert. Right then, this is Pudgy, Pudgio Real. This is the Todger, Pudger word for Rab C. Nisbet's wife. <laughs> okay, so the previous owners of World War II, the Ashes joke, and the Princess of Darkness. The Belgian anthem is a joke about the law and the king, and that is why it becomes a republic at the head of the whole of the European Union scam launched by the Brits, yet yeah, as always, and the English-speaking world, and still run by Lord Kerr of Kinlockart and Tony Blair, the totally une unelected genocidal specialist who brutalised the whole of that inquest place that is Iraq, then Afghanistan, and all of the narcotics wealth, and everything is a menace from outer space. Yeah, I will not talk, keep, stop talking until they execute me. Okay, so there is Pudgy, Pudgy Real, yeah? the Pudger in the Rab C. Nisbet joke is the penis. Yeah, the woman is missing a Pudger when they fall apart in the Christmas joke about Shug and all of the jokes that I've told you about Shug and that being the Hugh Vesties, who are the, they are the people that are the head of the Horsey dynasty that takes you right round into Russia, Kiev and Russia, and all of the jokes about the pagans, okay? This is where the Bible was defrauded, as you now know. The word real means silver. I've explained to you that the goldfish is Nathan Mayer Rothschild, and all of that massive dynasty that shagged Princess Victoria and Queen Victoria absolutely rabid yeah? that is the siring of all of the European monarchs that lead to all of the false bloodlines being persecuted and they become the richest people in the world apart from the people that shagged them and that is the goldfish joke for the Rothschilds that were involved in that that is the King of Kings, and all of it was published in Punch, yeah, which is now owned by Al Fayed, whose son was murdered with Princess Diana, so that they can profiteer, yeah, and against the moral rules that God gave us, yeah, all through world history. So do you get it? We've got the goldfish joke in the siring of all nine of the eleven children of Queen Victoria, yeah, and the rest of it is written in Naples and that is the silver fish yeah it's the penis and it does not matter whether it's circumcised or whether it's Christian it's a total profiteering exercise and I'm not scared at all I keep telling the truth until the cor corrupted politicians take me out and there will be hell to pay Okay, Pudgy Real, yeah, in Naples, right underneath the volcano where the prisons are for the simple poor people who fund them all. There it is, 
Poggio Real in Naples, right next door to the cemetery of the cock and balls. Yeah, everything is crude, and the war dead in there, yeah, are not likely to have raised a finger to fight against anyone, because all of them are physical cowards. They do their killing with the pain. Poggio Real is a neighbourhood in Naples, southern Italy. It is in the extreme east, right underneath the volcano of the city, and includes the areas of the central train station. Yeah, you know all of the connotations of that. Yeah, that's the Christian cross and the rain that ensues. <laughs> Everywhere you go, Mrs. Valerie Jane Lees, and all of the stories about your family ripping up the tracks in Crewe Station, right next door to the Duke of Westminster's richest pile, the vast new civic centre, the adjacent Poggio Real. <laughs> yeah, that's Rab seen this bit's joke. Yeah, and you heard him declaring the pie and the menace of that in the Glasgow jokes. Yeah, that's sectarian Glasgow, Celtic versus Rangers, and they are the YMCA poofed us in the village people joke, we are the people rangers sing. The gods will have the last lap, and I know that. Okay, there is the joke, the joke about the godfather and the killing of all of the godfather family's innocent children because they wanted to love yet yeah, their cousins. <laughs> Yeah. So the Cavalier Rusticana means rusty cap, and the Cavalier is the Piso horse rider, and the rusty knickers are the shitty bit along your gusset in the joke about uh, Britney Spears singing Amy, and why are we singing about knickers lying all over the floor, and the word Piso meaning vagina. Okay, there's the Raspolis, yeah, and that is the links to the stories I've already told you, and that has the word Piso in it, it has the Kivan Rus, the last of the pagan nations, and it has the word Polis in it, and all of it is a sad, sad, sick joke that I'm now going to explain to you and it takes in the uh, the knoll from which Kennedy was killed, okay? Elizabeth van der Noot. Noot means note, as it was written, yeah? Do you get it? All of the crimes are committed by the pens. The ass is Jesus in the Bible story. So, and when you translate ash, yeah, this is the ashes for the war dead, yeah? And it's Dr. Potter, my first boss, on the man who worked on the nerve gases in Rothamsted, right next door to Hemel Hempstead, which means God in heaven. <laughs> okay, do you get it? That's Jesus. It's the Butlin's donkey for Mr. Harris that gave me the sack on the river. <laughs> okay. E oh, and it is uh, the uh, not Shakespeare, but it Dickens's donkeys along the cliff top in the novels, all of which are written to cover the world's biggest crimes and all of their genocides. Elizabeth van der Noot de Asch lived in Brussels between 1899, yeah, with World War One looming and Khartoum already littered with war graves. Yeah, that's the Nile all the way from Khartoum right up to Egypt and Cairo. Okay, that's the Alpha to Omega joke on the Paschal candle for the Catholics. Okay, this is a l Belgian aristocratic lady. During the Second World War she became friendly with the highest circles of the German occupation authorities. Yeah, that's in German green. Whilst on a few occasions helping 
the resistance yeah, isn't she a lovely person she makes her loins available to all of them and that is the tragedy yeah, of world history there are no great women yet yeah, none of them are prepared to stand up and stop this Hannah Rothschild you just have to do what your peers and the genocidal leadership team all trained in secret societies like Tavistock and Huntsville all of it is massive no one has the courage to come forward and stop it ok Elizabeth married the Roman aristocrat Constantine Raspoli de Poggia Susa yeah? that's the O oh, Susanna give me hope Susanna songs and it now explains the woman who's mysterious who attains the Jehovah's Witnesses and she's lovely and I'd love to have explore a couple of pies with her when next we meet in Sainsbury's yeah it is totally crude and the Jehovah's are getting more and more intent on confronting me yeah and they will not intimidate me it is pathetic what they have all done to the world funded all by the Rothschilds Roman aristocrat Constantine yeah, do you get that in Constantinople where all the wars start and the red fez is on Tommy Cooper's head Russ Poli yeah, the pole dancers and the Russian pole dancers that Gordon Bowden told me all about in the pubs run in Wales and where all of the people were murdered yeah, when the person who is Jonathan Aitken who sells all the weapons all across Africa in league with Mrs Thatcher's son yeah, it's the same set of cover-ups that is the know-nothings Gordon Bowden and John Patterson and Field McConnell and all of the twats that sell the world for a few pints and to get their leg over and a little sniff of the piezo secrets yeah that's it it's terrifying and the GG's in the middle are the piezo horses here we go ok the raspoli is the coil which is the snake and the serpent around the doctor's stick Dr. Fingland <laughs> whose children are being educated with the Queen's in St Andrews University with the greatest genocidal leaders and the liars that is Butcher Haig in charge of that university succeeded by Alistair Moffat and then by the woman Richardson who's the first woman in 800 years to be in charge of Oxford the biggest genocidal institution in Britain she runs Intel like Miss Manning and Bua who my wife works for and all of them are sad 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 creatures totally for profit and to defend the Queen who's prepared to kill people who try and make our democracy prosperous using the NHS and the doctors who train their children at St Andrews there's the stick with the snake from the garden all around it there's the stick that Jesus was hung on yeah, there's Tays Russell's symbol. Yeah, and there's the vagina around the stick, which is Pino Huch and the celebration of the stealing of the central bank from all of the world. Okay, so when you look up pole dancers and tits in Wales, you get dancer burst her implant falling off the pole. <laughs> yeah and you get people demeaning themselves Gordon Bowden all through the story Hoppy New Year and that may be my ex-wife between diets ok do you get that 
the dancers and the burst implants and taking litigation threats against the NHS who put the tits in because it's all part of the piezo joke the pudger in the story about Glasgow is the man's tool when you look up pudger initially without any determination <laughs> you get like when you look up George Lees now and religious fraud you get many of the things have been banned by the European Union <laughs> because they are sensitive there's the pudger in my first search it's the man's toolbox <laughs> yeah, isn't that subtle for the war criminals to think up they each they had met each other while his father Mario Raspoli second prince of Poggio <laughs> Suzo was an ambassador in Brussels 1919, one year after the great profiteering triumph, to 1924, and the launch of the biggest scam, Tony Blair and Lord Kerr of Kinlocker, which is Grantmont Spey, which is where Ang Young Sai Ki has her safe house in the democracy frauds all across the world, that is Burma now, where she's in charge and she's allowed to waltz through both the Houses of Parliament for the commoners yeah, and the House of Lords for all of the war criminals and the thieves. Mario Raspoli, second prince of Poggia Sousa, O oh Susanna. <laughs> the woman from the Jehovah's has lovely eyelashes. <laughs> okay, Mario Raspoli, Second Prince of Pudge, Pudger Susanna, <laughs> give me hope. Yeah, there he is. He's like the Turkish guys, yeah, that led us into World War Two, and the pictures of all of the people that I've showed you with Lord Lucan driving the taxi. <laughs> okay, so uh, was born in Florence. Yeah, that's the spring joke again. Yeah, that's the. This, every one of the programmes and the cartoons that were made before the BBC News Poggio Susanna, son of Emanuele Raspoli, first prince, uh, Caterina Conacci uh, and Cardinal Bartholomew, St. Bartholomew Raspoli yeah? do you get it? that all of the names become the saints and all of it becomes the tiger joke yeah, put a tiger in your tank for Royal Dutch Shell, also run by the Rothschilds. Yeah, this is in charge, this guy, at the Second Battle of El Alamein. And he's in charge as the captain of the 11th Folgur Parachute Company. That is the Second Battle of El Alamein. Yeah, and he was in charge of that company. Uh, and that was the son of that man, the father, that you just saw with the big tash. Okay? And the Belgian princess is called Marie, and her husband is called Josie. Isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> right then. So, let's go to this one, see what we've got. <laughs> okay? So this is the same story, but highlighted. And they're in related to the Talirans. <laughs> Here he is, the Prince of Poggio, yeah, in Naples, and separated now for reputational reasons from Sausio. That region no longer exists in world history. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It's Susanna. Give me hope. <laughs> right then, and isn't he like those Turkish tyrants? and all of the killing of all of those people with the Scottish philosophers incapable of stopping World War I and the name of the bridge in Sarajevo being changed already since I reported it to Jim Hume with all the horses on his Facebook page Prince Emmanuel, yeah, you know that one in the Christmas hymn <laughs> Prince Mark Antonio, you've heard of Mark Antonio in the Egyptian Pharaoh bloodline, yet yeah, with Cleopatra and Elizabeth Taylor laughing at every one of the stories. 
yeah, and the tiger in your tank for British, uh, sorry, for the Dutch Shell Company and Florence, yeah, with Zebedee on the spring, <laughs> and the Talleyrands that are in the Rothschild greatest movie when all of it is in black and white before they get the scam with the racing pigeons at Waterloo seen through. Yeah, and they are very prolific with their children. They issue Prince Constantino Ruspoli, Mariscotti Ruspoli, Alessandro Ruspoli, Emmanuel Ruspoli and Carlo Ruspoli. Okay, so the crime scene. Their great chancellor, Kostash Konachi. <laughs> yeah, with the biggest fez I've ever seen. And that is the Piso joke in Constantinople. Okay, so the children of these people were Constantine, Carlin, Michel, Agostino, Dei, Principi Raspoli with the word Piso in it. <laughs> yeah, commander of the 11th Folgore Parachute Company, the Kia, yeah, the car companies. All the cars are jokes. The Peugeot is the place where World War I started. The Volvo is the Volva with two female fannies in it. <laughs> At the Second Battle of El Alamein in World War II, yeah, married in Brussels. Let's get down to the Pudger tab. <laughs> Do you get it? That's massive. Yeah, and all of that is the Al Amin jokes, and all of the parachuting in in the Rothschild silks and the silk stockings, in all of the orgies and all of the sad stories about the pole dancing and the can can stuff in Paris. Let's get this done quickly and I might get finished on time. There's Rab seen this but yet the Pudger is his willy and his wife threatens him with withdrawing her sexual congress and her name is Mary Hen and that is the chicken yet crowing and Mary Hen is a little bit further to the right there. Okay, do you get him? That's him in his piso pants, pants, pants and the Vestarium is the registration for Scottish tartans and Ur Wally sits on the bin and that is the joke about uh, the pale face killing all of the red men yeah do you get it all of those jokes rolled into one and he's from Langham in the Scottish borders and I met him getting off a plane yeah in New Zealand which is totally owned by the Queen because sad bastards like him are incapable of telling the truth that our whole of our lives is a vaudeville comedy. Yet the Vesties are one of the most genocidal families on the world and I tried to meet them at both the point points and the races last weekend. There's Naples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the Pudge region of Naples. It's refusing <laughs> to scan up the page. Do you get it? The grassy knoll is the killing of Janet John F. Kennedy, who's in the Mafia families and gets killed by his relatives, because he has the capacity for greatness and tries to give the banks that all of them stolen back to the citizens of the world and the collateral gold, all of which was stolen in the South Pacific. Peter Eyre, yeah, and uh, Gordon Bowden, and all of your pathetic stories about Wesley Wood and the Four Corners being the Duke of Wellington who helped Hannah Rothschild's family steal the world. Yeah, is that helping you, Jim Fetzer, to solve the great crimes? <laughs> okay, and here's where the prison is. The Poggio Real, yeah, the silver fish, the silver penis, yeah. The other gold penis is the one that sired all of Victoria's children in her virginal white dress, in her bigamous marriage 
to Prince Albert, who was murdered by the Re Windsors. Yeah, it was built in 1905, yeah, and it is the fortress for the poor people. <laughs> yeah, to keep the innocents in the prison with the word Piso in it. And it's right underneath fucking Vesuvius, so that all of the war criminals can escape in their pinsipe streets and their Ferrari cars, and no one is any of the wiser until I come along. Okay? And you know what the dog is now, on the end of the lead for the Godfather, and all of the, uh, the uh, Nepal jokes. Yeah, about the man who's in charge of FIFA having affairs with women with their pies exposed all through world history. Yeah, that's the federations and the protection rackets run by all of the Italian mafias and the godfathers. <laughs> okay, I think we've nearly finished. Okay, a brief history. So Poggio is in Naples and now they dare not... <laughs> They dare not link it to Sousa, yet that means their health. <laughs> yeah, that is the whole of those princes for all of those dynasties. I think there were four to six of them. Massive bloodlines, massive numbers of children born into the elites. All of them link. And let me get you the Hannah Rothschild link. Okay, the hot dog joke for the chosen ones who are given America. One believes one may now have caught the silver fish by the tail, really, which means real, which means silver. Right then, let me see if we can close the loop. <laughs> okay, there's the grassy knoll joke. <laughs> and quickly, 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 quickly. <laughs> Okay, uh, there is Naples and there is the prison right underneath it, so the innocents get it in the neck if it explodes. <laughs> okay, and there's no release and no parole for them. <laughs> okay, and there it is, there's all the peers, the St. Peter's joke, right in the heart of Naples, and the place is up here, there it is, surrounded in blood red colours. Like the Rothschild shield. <laughs> okay, and there's our mate. Yeah, and there's the polis with the word Piso chasing him. As if he was a menace to their profiteering business with all of the people that are linked to Lizzie Murdoch in Chipping Norton and my wife. Yeah, in the divorce proceedings through the corrupted Jedbra Sheriff Court. All of it is to steal from all of the people and all of the people's children now can never even have a mortgage. Yeah, thanks to people like him. And he's the most innocent man in the story. There it is. Right up under Vesuvius. <laughs> okay. And it's eight. Which is the Ferrari racetrack, and it's endless. And it's Nepal. And it's Sepp Blatter. And it's the protection rackets all over the world. And it is totally pathetic. <laughs> okay, and there's Sousa. Yep, that is the place that is Pi Pi Piedmont at the foot of the mountain to a molehill joke for the masters of the horse that are the marshals and the dukes of Norfolk in the story about the beheading of the loyal person who refused to support King Henry VIII in the lopping off of all of his wives and his widow's heads because the gods determine whether or not you can have children David Cameron and Mrs Valerie Jane Lees in your gender So they've disappeared the region because they knew that I would find it out. <laughs> okay, and isn't he lovely like Kaiser Bill? In those Austro-Hungarian families, 
that are quite happy to be the head of the British Navy to sit on the deck chairs as they bombard the British and Australian and Anzac troops.